Hello and welcome to the garage. Today I have a very fun issue to deal with and it's not in the garage. Nope, unfortunately it came out the other morning and uh, found that bubbling up underground. So I need to go ahead and make a quick repair to the sprinkler system today. Now you go ahead and join me on that and I'll get you set up somewhere as I get everything else ready. Ooh. Now you can see me again. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All righty, so once you determine the source of the leak, you need just a couple simple tools. A little garden trowel, some sort of a cutter for the PVC, and then for this type of line, you need some sort of a quick coupling to put it back together. Alright, so we knew the leak was right about here because that's where the water is bubbling up. i going to go ahead and turn the water back on and get it to bubble again. Basically, what you're looking at here is oh, let me get you kind of stabilized. So right here is the PVC pipe that actually goes under my driveway, and here's the feeder line that comes across. Unfortunately, that appears to be where the leak is at. So, I'm actually going to turn on the water one more time and find out exactly where it's puking from. Yep, and that is my worst fear. It's actually coming out from this PVZ pipe that goes under the driveway. That's one now. Well, I guess this isn't getting fixed today. I'm going to have to start watering the front plants for a few days with a hose. Alrighty, well, anyway, worth a try to try and fix that myself, but as it turns out, that is not going to happen today, unfortunately. So, I will have to, uh, <sighs> I really don't want to tear my driveway apart, but it looks like I might have to. I'm not 100% sure. I need to do a little bit of research and talk to some people. Thankfully, where I work at, there are... A lot of people that do uh, landscaping and dealing with sprinkler systems for their job. So I'll probably be able to recruit someone for a little bit of help or at least a little bit of knowledge. Anyway, on to the next project. Going out to the backyard and I'm going to redo my mist nozzles and rehang some of the pipe that's come down. Uh, the plastic retainers have fallen off in a couple spots. So I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so we are in the backyard now, and as you can see right there, that's one of the things that I'll be fixing tonight. Uh, the other thing is, I'm going to be swapping out the nozzles. Instead of being the standard uh, screw-in ones, I've always had the issue that the spray pattern was just wide enough that it would spray on the roof, causing a little bit of damage. So, I got these that screw in on the normal port and you can actually bend them and angle them however you want. They have kind of a uh, 
not really, it's kind of a metal, like a, it just, it keeps the form of whatever you're working with. So I'm going to put these in all the way around, get the thing secured back up and see how it operates. For the record, it's about 112 out here still, and it is almost 8 o'clock at night. It's just getting to be sunset here in Las Vegas, so it is warm. So let's get started. As before, for this repair, I have some of these plastic retainer hooks and my nice Makita drill. Not sponsored. Love to. Makita, hit me up. I use your tools all the time. So does everybody at my shop. So, you know, for that. So this right here, that is the original jet that I'm replacing with the extended tube ones. Already got a couple up there. Get a couple more installed on this side, move the ladder around a little bit, and then move to the other side and get the hose reattached and all of that. I believe I did specify it's hot out here. Actually got hot enough that in that short period of time, uh, my camera overheated, um, which is a first for me. But keep on plugging along, get these swapped out. position you a little bit better here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. So as you can see I had installed these about every 18 inches around my patio. Uh, my dad helped me with it so thank you to him. Hey my camera's overheating again already. <laughs> I might have to help. Yep. Alrighty, so as you can see, I don't know, maybe, you can see some mist coming across in the light there. I did get it all connected back up. Unfortunately, like I said, it is, oh, let's see, we're down to 108 now, and it's 8.30 in the evening. So, there's that. But, uh, anyway, the whole reason behind doing that is, because it is lovely in the evening, I don't know if you can see the strip out there or not, but that's the Las Vegas Strip looking out over my backyard. So that's the big reason to put in the mist system in the backyard is to be able to do that, be able to relax. And then also when I'm using my uh, little hibachi there, a little bit cooler, keep things a little bit nicer when it's uh, summertime and uh, you know I feel like cooking outside, barbecuing, anything like that. It just makes it a lot better. Uh, it's also a little safer for the dogs when I gotta let them out if I'm gonna be away for just a minute, you know, if I'm stuck inside for whatever reason and they're outside, I can turn on the mist up here and drop the temperature by a good 10 to 15 degrees almost instantly just with the evaporative cooling of the mist. So anyway, one more project for the night and so I will see you upstairs in a moment. Alrighty. Welcome to the upstairs. Um, this is actually the door to my bedroom. And I'm going to be replacing this doorknob with one that, uh, that my wife got that she's been uh, asking me to go ahead and get installed here for a little while. So 
since I'm doing uh, some chores tonight and kind of motivated to, to do stuff other than uh, play video games, let's go ahead and get this started. I haven't changed one of these uh, in years. I did a bunch at my mom's house when I was in uh, high school. So bear with me. This should be entertaining. Anyone that does this for a living, uh, comment below. Let me know the tips and tricks because I'm going to be doing a lot more doorknobs and stuff throughout the house over the next year or two as we uh, start kind of cleaning stuff up and changing stuff up. So make sure, like, subscribe, comment, let me know below. Helps me out. Um, comments especially help me out. They let me know that you're watching. They let me know what you like and what you don't like. And again, if you got any tips, let me know. So let me uh, grab some tools and I will be back with you in just a moment. All right. So I was looking over everything real quick here and you know I I am a mechanic by trade um, I, I have literally tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools out in my garage right now um, and funny enough my tech site is actually the first thing that I grabbed um, much like Jay's two cents I don't know if you guys watch them or not I will uh, make sure and link him down below but uh, funny enough I fix it. These toolkits truly are great. Um, I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated, and actually it's Jay's Two Cents fault that I even bought one. And let me tell you, building computers and doing more delicate tasks, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, and even in something like this, I'm going to go ahead and use it today. So, you know, yeah, they work for everything. Literally one of the best toolkits that there is for screwdrivers. So, can't recommend them enough. All right, so sorry I'm a little bit blown out. This little Sony ZV-1 camera really does a good job dealing with all lighting situations. However, my ceiling fan light is not very bright. And so with my camera in the kit actually came with like a, uh, a floodlight of sorts that you attach to the top of it for doing like interviews and dark scenes and stuff like that and this thing let me let me tell you I looked it up on Amazon and it is only like a ten dollar little light as you can see it's really bright so it's actually hurting my eyes to talk to you guys right now so I'm gonna go ahead and get my toolkit out get this doorknob off of there get the other one unpacked and hopefully figure out how to put it on there. Um, you'll see in a little, in, well, in a few minutes when I get it unpacked and start getting it put together, you'll see the theme that uh, is kind of sort of going on with this doorknob. Hopefully you guys understand it and I will be with you in a moment. Okay, so we will go ahead and begin the process here, taking this apart and like I said, I fix it toolkit. Absolutely love it. And again, yes. As you just saw earlier in the video when I was outside, I do have a drill. Um, however, I had already put all that away before I decided I was going to take on this task. So this looks pretty simple overall. I'm not uh, terribly concerned about it. Old door handle out. All right, let me get this one put away, and I will be uh, be right back with you as soon as I get the other one unpackaged and get it all figured out. 
I also realize that I say and a lot. Need to work on that. Obviously my uh, my public speaking instructor would not be proud of me at this point. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and do the unboxing with you guys. So, and yeah, this is a doorknob. So there's part of it. It's so not another part of it. Uh, nice chrome uh, stopper. New latch mechanism. New doorknob. And the good old instructions. Anybody read these? I love how they're the most basic instruction set possible. They really customize this. So, I don't know if any of you guys watched the movie uh, Alice in Wonderland at all. But does that look familiar at all? Yep, it's a doorknob set based on Alice in Wonderland. So that goes together pretty darn easy like that. So that'll be no problem, as I can't get it back apart. <laughs> and nice to have dogs. I don't know if you guys have dogs or not. Dog hair gets on everything here. We, uh, we wear dog hair as a badge of honor. At least in my house. Remember those instructions I made fun of? So I'm a little toolkit. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Let's pop that open. This uh, crazy looking little key doohickey. Apparently, you're supposed to use it. Okay, so that took some doing, but I got it apart. I fix a toolkit. Alright, so when you're putting these things up, you do have to make sure that you put your striker the correct direction. So when the door shuts, it can go through and get into the little locking position. So, that's how these work. It's just spring-loaded. So you shut your door, that comes across, gets into the pocket, and goes through, and now it's held in place. Pretty simple. notice this or not this is not a locking doorknob at all 
So it's very funny to me that they put screws in that still go all the way through. They could have cut these things down and only been about 20 turns in and it would have been fine. over you up a little more all right so this mounting cover here I have to make sure if it's worth doing it's worth doing twice anyway I need this on there the correct way because that little thing there is what holds the doorknob on and I want it hidden on the bottom. I don't want a little hole looking upward at me. So that's why I'm taking the time to flip that over. Alright. So, so you can see the... Uh, That little groove there is what that pin slides on. Alright. Doorknob is attached. Alrighty. Now for this little piece. This is attached on there with super high quality double sided tape from, I can only assume, a country that we're currently not super friendly with. I'm not going to bring up any politics on this though. Because realistically, if you guys cared about my feelings on that subject in the slightest, I'd be running for office of some sort. And I'm not. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Working doorknob. Looks like the little uh, doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. Flip that screen back over. Alrighty, well, thank you for joining me doing some of my chores today. I know, uh, well, the sprinkler system thing, that's going to be a whole different video. That's going to be all sorts of uh, not fun work. Um, I think I know how I'm going to go about attacking that repair. However, it's probably not going to be until later this fall. I'm just going to have to deal with... Uh, <sighs> dragging a hose around the yard to water my trees and shrubs and everything, because I not going to deal with a hundred and teens outside having to dig up both sides near the driveway so that I can clip the line, pull it all the way through, send a whole new piece through and put couplings on either side. So thank you for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Like, subscribe, comment, make sure and comment below so that I know what you guys are enjoying. Uh, I know that most of my videos are computer games and computers, but I like to try and throw in some lifestyle and vlog type. Um, I got to work on my vlog skills along with my video editing and content creation and getting everything out there on a reasonable timetable. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment below. And I will see you next time.